Apps and websites that use AI to undress women in photos are soaring in popularity. In September alone, 24 million people visited undressing websites. That's according to the social network analysis company Graphica. It's all part of a worrying trend known as deepfake pornography. Bloomberg's Margie Murphy joins me on set with her reporting. At the centre of that reporting is also data around the volume of advertising behind those apps and sites and where they're being advertised. Right. So one of the big problems here is that these app developers are getting a load of free marketing using social media platforms. So we saw a 2,400% increase from last year, according to Graphica, of referral links on X and Reddit. And you can see if you just search keywords that are associated with these kind of apps that the adverts pop up, there are accounts underneath them, there are pictures of women all kind of teasing and winking at you saying, come, come, if you follow this link, you'll get to this app. Um, and it's just a, a free way for them to provide their services. But the, the social networks, since our reporting came out, have said that they're cracking down on it. But it's, they've kind of had free, free marketing for a good year now. I mean, some of them have also paid for sponsored content on Google's YouTube, for example, and a Google spokesperson said the company doesn't allow ads that contain sexually explicit content. But, Margie, the also really worrying thing is a lot of the people who are being sort of undressed don't realise, ultimately. And also, I mean, of course, it's, it's a deep fake, so it's not actually real, but there's no sort of legal recourse to this from a federal level at the moment. Absolutely. There's no federal law at the moment that prohibits uh, non-consensual deepfake pornography. And it's, it's something that people I've interviewed about this, researchers, um, you know, experts in AI, are really concerned about because we've heard for years about celebrity deepfake pornography, which is awful. Uh, but now we're really seeing normal people uh, becoming part of this story. Um, Business Week, did a, we had a cover story recently about these, uh, this just awful story about um, some high school is in, in Levittown and, and they were deep faked they actually found the person who deep faked them but it, it's just one story that I think will just keep happening and we're just going to see more of it because there's no legal recourse for victims uh, and the technology is just kind of spiralling out of control really.